sort of uh, what if chances missed? It's a missed opportunity. Um, the boys were well aware of the league table and, and what a win could um, could do for us, and they bottled it tonight. To be honest with you, um, not turned up, and we got caught out. We kept pumping against the, what, what the probably 75% of this division is all about. Um, percentage football and I thought we could deal with that kind of stuff but we did deal with it to an extent but it's just not good enough that's that's not what I know this this, this team's capable of and that's the frustrating thing where you go and get yourself in a position results go well for you last night and then like I say it's a missed opportunity and that's not good enough again from us tonight look at the positives come back against the uh, early goal by them 38th minute you scored right on the stroke of half time that's a great position to take the boys back into the dressing room and have a word with them it was. It completely changed um, half-time team talk. It probably went from a big, um, big rant to let's get behind them and, and, and encourage them a little bit. You know, a goal just for half time. Thought would spur us on a little bit. Um, we've had chances, by the way, uh, second half as well. Um, some sitters as well. Just won't go in for a start. It won't quite bounce. Um, like I say, it was. It wasn't as we didn't pass as well as I know we can, um, and we were. We, we just didn't perform. So where do you take it from here? Obviously, you've got a few players uh, new to the club. You've got to try them out. You've had a look at them maybe half an hour tonight. Are they going to come into the, into the four more? Yeah, I think they definitely will. Um, I was impressed with Elliot Chamberlain when he came on. Um, and, and the young lads that are obviously on, on the on the fringes, if you like, at the minute, they keep impressing me. Um, boys that played tonight, there was, a, there was some disappointing performances. Um, three or four didn't turn up and they're my big four players, so I need more from them. So where do you take it from here? Big game, of course, Saturday versus Chippenham. It's another team like Slough. That, you know, they can be, they can turn up, play a game, but also these are the games you've got to win. They were strong last year. They're big, they're well organised and they're physical. Um, I've already had a little look at them again this season and they're exactly the same as last year. So that's their brand of football and we've got a man up, if you like, now. I thought it was men. Men versus boys tonight. There's a lot of battles and we didn't win enough battles tonight. We go into Saturday and it's go again for the lads because <clears throat> sorry my throat's gone. Um that's like I said, we need to turn that round. We need we need points on the board. I set the lads points target before. And funny enough I had this down as three points. But we've got no points, so back to the drawing board and they need to go and get results on Saturday. In a situation where you've played a team tonight that didn't really look like they deserved the win, Slough Town, do you go to Slough when you play them away from home and think, yeah, they've turned us over, they've laughed at us, and we need to pay them back? Do the boys, they've let themselves down tonight, and that's that's the biggest thing for me. They they know they've let themselves down, um, let me down, and the f the fans expect more. I expect more from them, and I know they expect more from themselves. So. They've got to go and put stuff like that right. They know that they are, as an 11, better than what's in that dressing room. But like I said, the difference tonight was men versus boys and they've got a game plan. They stick to it and they're a physical side. They they put, they will get mixed results. And like I said to you pre, like prior to this game, that they have had mixed results and you can see why. Because teams that do turn up on the day will turn them over. And teams that don't adapt and try and mimic, if you like, the way they play, will get found out and that's what we did tonight we changed our whole game plan and turned it into how they play football and that's not what we were telling them to do before the game we're especially at home all about open uh, energetic football and that's I want I want the ball on the deck and we were smashing balls up to Spencer Weir daily and he will battle away but that's not his game I don't want Spencer Weir daily challenging the balls around his neck all night and we let him down tonight do you think then uh, maybe it's a case of learning from what's happened today and, and also taking that forward and play more balls along the ground and, and use your wingers and, and get the ball into the final third? You've got a new striker, of course, in Elliot Chamberlain. It can maybe do that as well and hold the ball up and just lay it off. That's what we need tonight. We needed a, a focal point up there. Um, Spencer will get goals. I've got no, I've got no question in that. Wilson Carvalho, Greg Mills were disappointed tonight. But I know how capable they are as footballers. They two of the four that I've just mentioned that I was disappointed with tonight. I need more from them. They're key players for me. They're, they're, they are goals and, that, 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 and they provide goals for this team. And when they don't turn up and one or two others, we all of a sudden become an average team and almost carrying players. And 
we have to go and put it right Saturday. Do you think this is a hangover of the fact that it's been 10 days without a game, missing the Saturday afternoon fixture? <clears throat> yep, and I'll hold my hands up. I should not have given the boys the weekend off. And I thought by giving them that off, it would refresh the, the batteries and get them in training on Monday. But I'll take one. I'll, I'll, I'll hold my hands up tonight. And I've told the boys they can forget about um, days off anymore. That's, that's not going to... It's not going to wash. They've, they've turned up tonight. They were rusty, and we didn't get going. So they've proven to me that we are not as good as I think they are, um, or we, or we just need to keep at it all the time. So back to the drawing board. Like I say, lessons learnt for myself, lessons learnt from the boys. Thanks, Tommy. See you shortly.